Now at 430, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden is in Chicago. She just wrapped up a talk at McCormick Place. She spoke to the Chicago Federation of Labor at their annual Labor Day reception. CBS 2's Chris Ty has more on how organized labor is driving new de deals and also exposing divides from the auto industry to Hollywood to Chicago ahead of next year's Democratic Convention happening at the United Center. That's right, she is an educator, she is a first lady, and she's also a card-carrying union member. First Lady Jill Biden is a member of the National Education Association. You are the backbone of this country. We can tell you she's here speaking to organized labor, a once rock-solid wing of the Democratic Party that has seen a larger share of its members endorse former President Trump in recent years. All of this is the country waits word on possible massive strikes by the United Auto Workers against the big three automakers. Talk of Starbucks unionization, deals recently struck by UPS, and ongoing strikes by Hollywood writers and actors. I know it isn't easy, but you do this because of who you are. Your advocates, your organizers, your union members, you stand together and fight for the communities you care about, and you never give up. I'm a third generation member. We spoke earlier today with the president of the Chicago Federation of Labor about the deal struck with all key unions that will play roles in next year's Democratic convention in Chicago. He says the Democratic Party wanted to make sure that labor peace was here and there was no friction next summer. That event begins one year from last week. We spent time working with the DNC to craft a labor peace agreement for uh, all the people that will be involved with the production of the convention to make sure that we have labor peace. SAG after Writers Guild strike, the uh, uh, potential strike with the UAW and the big three, but we have stuff happening on the ground here in Chicago every day. President Biden and I understand the middle class because we are from the middle class. Governor Pritzker and Mayor Johnson also here today, signaling the power held by the Chicago Federation of Labor, which represents 300 unions and a half million people in Chicago and Cook County. The First Lady heads to Wisconsin tomorrow, her press team not advising whether or not she is spending the overnight hours in Chicago. At McCormick Place, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News.